Well, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the 4th of August, Friday, 2017. A midday update prior to NFP, which really will be a market mover, as always. In terms of the uh, stats for today, we have the FTSE up uh, again, still uh, hovering around that 7480 zone. The uh, German DAX up slightly, the French CAC up slightly, more or less neutral. Uh, FTSE move certainly down, IBEX certainly down, stock 600 certainly in flat light. In terms of uh, the economic data this morning, we've had uh, German factory orders coming in stronger than expected. That has been neutralised and negated uh, by the um, by the uh, rest of the European data that's come out this morning uh, in terms of uh, PMIs, Italian retail PMI coming in weaker than expected. Uh, in terms of Germany market retail PMI coming in weaker than expected. Eurozone market retail PMI coming in weaker than expected. Uh, although you, the German construction data did come in slightly stronger than expected. So again, a mixed set of uh, economic reports there. Uh, factory orders did come out stronger than expected this morning from Germany. That's certainly helping to a large extent as well. Okay, so that's the status quo. In terms of uh, the um, the actual euro itself, the euro uh, currently still in that uh, lofty heights around the 1.1880 uh, zone. Okay, still in that low lofty heights. Again, certainly uh, causing pain for the eurozone potential recovery. So that's certainly something to uh, bear in mind as well. Okay, so we're waiting for, we're looking forward to the uh, NFP data. It will be interesting to see how the markets react. In terms of the uh, FTSE 100 and the Eurozone, uh, European equities, it's basically the onus is on the Euro. The Euro at the moment is currently at a lofty heights of 1.180, okay, which in turn obviously hurts the export side of the equation. In terms of the uh, Sterling, Sterling certainly is bouncing back today on the back of BOB Broadbent. His hawkish comments certainly uh, triggering a potential short squeeze in the uh, move uh, in Sterling. So that's certainly something to consider as well. Okay, so German DAX, let's look at the German DAX first and foremost, certainly finding resistance in this zone here. Provided Euro, uh, Euro USD remains at that 1.1880 zone, uh, it'll certainly could cause and create a drag on the German equity. So certainly take that into consideration as well. 60 minute chart at the moment has made a potential base uh, at the uh, key support at 1200. We'll see how the market reacts from there. In terms of the French CAC at the moment, you are back into resistance. Weaker data yesterday and weaker data today from France. Again, certainly will act as a drag on the uh, equities and market themselves. Now, again, you are looking at potential support below at 5120 and then support back at 5090. Okay. In terms of the Euro stocks, let's just quickly go over this as well. Again, Euro stocks are drag. Certainly have resistance here at 3470. You have support below at 3450. And then potential support further down at 3440. So again, a stronger euro acting as a drag on European equities, along with the weaker data as well, to a large extent. In terms of the FTSE 100, it certainly seems that the uh, the index is certainly capped at resistance here. Uh, certainly have uh, resistance here at 7480. Certainly looks capped here. Looking at a break of the bullish channel, looking to potentially move lower, back down to 7460, and then potentially back to 7440. Okay, so keep an eye on the uh, the FTSE itself. The 60-minute chart certainly has resistance here as well at 7,480. The daily chart at the moment has resistance as well at 7,480. So 7,480 is a good zone to watch in terms of the uh, the resistance of the FTSE. If you break through 7,480, then you are looking at opening up 7,500 and 7,550 as well. So again, uh, a lot of it depends on the actual index itself and also on sterling too. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of uh, European equities. Let's just quickly look at oil. Okay, crude oil at the moment still remains weak. Okay, holding that same 75% and looking to potentially reverse. Back down to 47 possibly. Okay, so we await NFP. NFP certainly will be uh, volatile. And uh, the markets obviously will position accordingly. So let's see where we stand, especially given the fact that we have S&P 500 coiling higher. Uh, coiling up at the moment and whichever way it goes we don't know yet you have the unfilled gap at 2477 which we're almost there now certainly is acting as resistance <clears throat> okay so symmetrical wedge in a 60 minute chart trading sideways unfilled gap below okay so my my understanding and my interpretation is that we would move lower 
daily chart certainly exhausted hanging man bearish candle looks like we want to move lower although having said that you have the Dow hitting new highs so again it really is a wild card okay so let's wait for the uh, economic data to be released from the US and then we can react accordingly on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and uh, visit trade signal for signal latest signals and market updates goodbye now